and personally, I was staying with my grandmother, and I was like, ah, I mean, she mean mean and I be one mom and bet one no fool no so and I like. So that wasn't what I actually wanted to do. But the thing that I knew was the only profession that existed at the time was banking. And so that was what I actually wanted to do. But you know, fast forward, I left, came to live in a car, and I was exposed. And I, whoa! So- TV. This is the Free Zone podcast um, where we talk about things relating to us as youth and also free ourselves by sharing our opinions and experience on things we've been through. So if you're watching us, thank you so much for being with us and make sure you stay with us through this conversation. Your comments and your opinions are always welcomed on the show. Go follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, it's all Kofi JCT. My name is Kofi JC. Today I have two beautiful guests. I think you've seen all of them before. Um, one, the lady was very controversial in the first, first podcast. A lot of people were commenting, hey, yeah, we share my opinion. The guy to the second or third podcast, he was also here. We talked about, um, I think, the entertainment industry, the TGMA. We also talked about how central region our entertainment industry is. The topic for today is, can our environment influence our choices in life. That is particularly our career path. So maybe if you, maybe a nini, obutu mwa ma etu si nyamabi as a grow up now. That's what we are talking about today. But before that, let me introduce my guests. So on my far left, I have. Yeah. Um, some Samuel Anobi. Samuel Anobi, we, we call you flight. Yeah. Flight. So today we'll fly for the sky. <laughs> Come to you. Then I have Obapa Fenya Miche. Yes, Obapa. So Obapa, eh? Today we come to Oh, he <laughs> did. <laughs> That's what we are looking for today. I so see. today, um, my question is, or the question on board, is, can our environment influence our career path yeah. in the future? So we take it from general, our life in general growing up, then we go straight to our careers that we choose in life. Is it being influenced by our environment? So first of all, let me start with you. Okay. Why are you always biased? I'm a guy. Okay, okay. Next time I'll take you off your seat. No, next time I'll take you off your seat. Okay, okay, okay. so go ahead. So let's start with it. Okay. Um, Does our environment play any role in our life? Environment plays a major role in our lives. And I think I have a quote here okay. that we want to read. Okay, quote um, for us. Yes. <laughs> it's, <laughs> from, <laughs> it's from one Canadian um, public speaker. Okay. He, he's an author called um, Malcolm Gladwell. Okay, Malcolm um, Gladwell. Yes, and I quote, who we are cannot be separated from where we're from. Okay. Who we are cannot okay. be separated from, from where we're from. from. Yes. Okay. And when we ignore that fact, planes crashes. Yo. Who we are exactly. cannot be separated from, from where we're from. Exactly. And when we ignore that, that fact, yes. plane crash. Exactly. Simply because where simply um the where you are coming from or where you want to go is being impacted by where you are coming from. And then when you ignore to go by where you are coming from, the teachings from where you are coming from, um your ideas and all of that are like to go down. And there is this fancy or popular fancy saying that it's the not all my managers need easy. And so if A has not said, on yaza way in the on yaza or you come on to where you are, you don't know it. Okay. You get it. So our lifestyle, everything that we do in general is being influenced by our environment. Okay. Okay. So environment plays a major a key role, role. A major role. A major role in, in our, our life. Exactly. As you go. About part. <laughs> okay, um, I think I'm on the same page with him, but um, the whole the whole situation is that what you see is what is registered in your head. Okay, okay so um, whatever goes on around you become registered in your head. 
and the, as time goes on, it's naturally manifest. It's not like probably you have decided that because you've seen this person do this, you would also do it. But it's a natural thing that happens because so long as it is registered in your head or in your memories, it's kind of come out at a point it is supposed to come out. It doesn't manifest at any point in time, but it just needs a trigger. So um, whatever that you are doing, sometimes somebody will say, oh, my friends influ uh, influenced me into smoking. They influenced me into doing this. They didn't influence you. That thing was already registered in your head. It was already in you. You just needed a trigger. You understand? So you see people doing this over and over again. It gets registered in your head. Now, you find yourself in that situation. You ask yourself, am I different? I'm not. So I can also do it because I saw people do it way back so i can also do it and you end up doing it and you wouldn't even realize that oh you did it because of the previous encounters you had so it's it's a natural thing that i mean happens with us i mean okay now coming to it i want to ask this question okay before i ask the question there is this saying that um your environment okay. is mostly calculated for when you were born to the age of 30, when you get to 30, you become your own environment. So if you were born in a home that we would call um, average as Ghanaian home or poor home, you are able to blame or you are able to say that, oh, they influenced me for not doing this, for not doing this. But when it gets to certain points in your life, whatever decision you take is from you. Coming to this, I want to ask this question. Can we, at a point, ignore our environment? Can we, at a point, ignore our environment and say that, okay, I need to pay attention to my environment. Just let me do me. Is it possible? And it's, is it worth it? For it's, your, your, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, your it's, it's, it's very possible, but it takes a lot of time. Something that you've been doing consistently for about 30 years, like you're mentioning. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you want to stop because you think it wasn't supposed to be this. Can you say yes, sir, yes, sir, no, So it's very difficult. But just as research will say, if you are BBABN consistently for 21 days and you become part of you, yeah. you get it. And personally, I think environment is not basically probably the where, where you live or where you stay, but where you spend much of your time okay. becomes your environment. So whatever goes around within that space becomes part of you. And Changing it with time, it's possible, but it's not an easy thing. Wow. That's, that's me. Okay, but is it possible? And is it worth it that you grew up from a home or you grew up from a place that you say you spent most of your time? You see all these ladies growing up to be nurses, growing up to be um, teachers, and at a point you feel like, hey, Jeremy, do you dare me more money than me? You see, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm is it possible and is it worth it? Coffee, <laughs> I love because you see, uh, it is worth it okay. because I know there is nothing new under the sun, okay? And um, whatever that you want to do, somebody has done it before, and there is a place you can find lessons from to build up on what you want to do, but. Uh, I hear people say that you grew up from a poor home, but your children are not supposed to grow up from a, a poor Ooh. home, which means you need to make a difference. Yeah. So what is it that you can make different from your peers? It doesn't mean it is a new thing, but probably it might be a new thing among your peers. So let's say in your house, everybody's um, a doctor, okay? And you know, mostly the parents will want their kids to follow a particular line. Yeah. And there is this one person, you will always find that there is this one person who would always be the bad nuts among that because this person 
they didn't really wish to be what the family is. But the influence, the it, it comes like you don't really have a, much of a choice. So if this person, let's say, leaves the medical line and go into law, the person becomes like different, different among the family. Sure. Meanwhile, he's not the first lawyer on earth. Yeah. But I might be the first lawyer yeah. from the family. Exactly my point. Mm -hmm. So you ha you you have a hundred percent chances of making a difference, of standing out from your environment. That means you are creating your own environment that people would also have to find themselves in it. Because in as much as you um, there is an environment you grew from, people created that environment. Mm -hmm. So what prevents you from creating your own environment? You can. So just, if you have the ability to create your own environment, create it, create that ecosystem for people to also swim in it. And then one day you can, you know, you sit back and be like, wow, when this whole process started, I didn't see it to be at this level. But at the end of the day, we are here and you will be very much proud of yourself. Wow, beautiful. Let's come to the main point. The reason why this topic was even written and chosen by me for us to discuss. Okay. I have a colleague that completed the same year with me in uni. So we have a WhatsApp group, um, the boys from the WhatsApp group, UCC Talk. So we did inside, and one time this guy came and was like, he feels bad. Like he's going through a lot of things, like he feels it's depression. Then the question was, that, and the question was asked, what is really going on? Now some more candidate. Kind of I think that was four or five months or getting to the end of last year. You know, the one lawyers, those who went to law school, graduated that particular month, yeah. you know, post one pictures now. Then. So it was like, I feel that he is not worth who he is. Because, because or a teacher, or you grow up, you know, 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 you it's not you being young or a teacher, but a teacher in there. Oh, look, colleagues in there, but we move into like lawyers. I'm not going to move this one. Yeah, into our or we great in the environment that we're growing up from. So it's like, oh, okay, that means our environment plays a major role in our career choice in future. Yeah, because any of the men who move in is a carpenter's or a mason for a dream, a dream there, but you're the big man. And every day, sometimes look at it. Hey, you didn't blame your own degree at that point of choices you make. And to my first question, you said, what were the choices you made and now you were aspiring, career path you were aspiring to be when you were growing up? And now, what you see yourself? Because I'm saying that, I can't want to feel affluent homes and they ask them what they want to be. Most of them want to be a pilot. I want to be like the president. Yeah. I had done my own school, I had class, and we got to that. I want to be a president. I'm not just I'm not saying. Saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. 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 So, the guy in the car, you know, I'm moving. No, I don't know. I tell you, your responsibility is to be a guy. Yeah, you know, I don't know. You know, you can make choices. You know, you know, you Because of where? Because I'm saying, you know, I dream of, you know, I'm going to be a guy. Please. You know, you're a guy. The Muko Fundi or what's in Echo companies where we company or estates, I want your what's in Mosmona. I don't know. Then you my hand, Charlie. So I realized that my guy in your canoe or your yeah. car. It's me, be said, first, what was the career path and how every year you may feel? I show you an epidemic. Then I know your answer. Is that what you are doing now? Mm -hmm. okay. Then you keep saying, You ain't changing. Did you have any challenge? Because Trema, Baba Pakan. We should know how a doctor is supposed to be a doctor. It's also a dream, man. But any of you setting a new one, that's not my path. It's a better man for the main media. The challenge you go through. The same thing I was talking to um, Smile. Smile, one guy here, minimum. Yeah, yeah, grow up in your school. There was one girl in the media, um, Amanda. They have been meeting, the story was beautiful. Not a student in this. But she was not in the media. But if Papa and Tin grant me the opportunity, and we got the opportunity on radio, I said, come, let's do it. 
go for putting tips now here now and you know the face and the icon okay. of the show so i want to ask let me start it about her let's look at it the way any feel what was the dream work you were looking forward to do <laughs> coffee uh we okay, so <laughs> let me just take it from here. Okay. Growing up, I grew up in a rural yeah. environment, and most of them, you know, farming, mm. those things. But the commonest thing we used to hear at the time was banking, okay? okay? Because at least after they get the money from the after they get the money from whatever produce they are making yeah, they take it to the wow. bank so like we didn't actually know any profession aside from and then they made it feel like working in a bank is you being the bank manager so like it's just recently i realized actually not everybody at the bank is a bank manager <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so i mean that was registered in my hand and like it took all the kids were playing together almost all of us you yeah, asked i want to be a bank manager because i must see you so cramp for me what is your person a bank manager like exactly but that was actually what that was what we were exposed to because we we didn't see ourselves going to school and becoming farmers and personally i was staying with my grandmother and i was like ah i mean to me me and i be one mama bet one of you so and i like so that wasn't what i actually wanted to do but the thing that i knew was the only profession that existed at the time was banking and so that was what I actually wanted to do. But you know, fast forward, I left, came to live in a car, and I was exposed. And I, whoa, so there are even like things I can do aside farming and banking. And even the banking, it's it's not like you are in a bank, so you are the manager of the place. Like, there are other banking services you can do there. So, okay. I just had to explore my abilities and all that. And even that, I think I started thinking about it somewhere around when I was almost out of SHS, wow. because um, what even triggered me to think about it was the fact that I was friends with my headmistress, okay. and she wanted me to move to the tertiary immediately. Okay. So one time I went to see her, and she was like, what is your father saying about education? I was like, personally, I had not even thought of it, yeah. because... There is nothing on my mind I even want to do with my life. life. Because yeah. as at that time, the banking is off my head. I was confused. I did even till now, we are still confused. confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So like, I was, I was just thinking. So when this woman was like, I want you to go back to school as soon as possible. Right before me, she called my father. Yeah. I was like, I want your girl to go to school. And my daughter was like, I need a break. Like, at least I want her to go rest while well, I also rest financially. So by the time she'll be ready to go, I'll be sure I have all the finance to finance it. And this woman agreed. So that was when I was like, oh, so I even have to further my education. So if I'm furthering my education, then what am I going to do? Wow. So I started thinking. And you know the funny thing? I wanted to go to GIG. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to go to GIG because I wanted to do media. Okay. But after school, after SHS, I was home. When I told my family aside my dad that I wanted to go to school, they were all geared towards nursing training or teacher training. Mm -hmm. I was like, what is going on oh, here? Yeah. None of these professions are what I really want to do. Number one, somebody will say, oh, you want to do media and you don't want to teach. But I give them just one difference. 
See, media, eh? Hardly will somebody come and ask you that I didn't understand this thing you said. Because yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. the best thing the person can do is to drop a comment for us. Yeah. And it is up to us to even answer Answer. the question or not. Sure. You understand? Yeah. But in a classroom, when you teach, the students would ask you, I don't understand. Yeah. And that was a condition I couldn't bear. Even though these two are still talking, but what will come with a question you would have to answer? Answer. And imagine you've thought for an hour, and somebody comes and tells you, the one you thought like 30 minutes, I don't understand. No, it wasn't something I was really up for. So I just had to tell them I cannot make it. I, you know, so. For the next and card and media no matter my gym card because Charlie, you know <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's not part of your yeah, 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 it's not part of but me. let me let me cut you in. What do you think is the cause for our parents and family always choosing nursing and teachers training for us? Because I said I said Okay. It's because I try. You know why? It's still there. I think it's still, still there. there. So because my, see, because me, my dad me my dad at home. Okay. Because I bought the forms myself. Sure. And you know, my dad is not really like close, close to a uh-huh. So I mm-hmm. made tall forms and I told them I bought training college. Okay. I came to school, they knew I was <laughs> so like but I, I, I thought I cannot hide it forever. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. at a point I needed to open up to them. Open up to them. And so now see Father's Day, I called one of my uncles just to wish him Father's Day. I don't know. Oh, I'm seeing me go to school. Hey, now the school is that that one year. Now I'm seeing school now four years. Who go training college? I think by this time one year. Can we age? Oh, really? That's the mentality. So the the reason they do that is the fact that they know that nursing teacher training. Once you are done, you have your job secured. But they have refused to understand that the then training colleges and nursing trainings are amazing because now the way university students are jobless, yeah. nurses and teachers yeah. are also jobless. They are also jobless. They are also but they are refusing to understand this fact. Wow. Wow. So the the whole issue about going to teacher training, nursing is about their job yes. security. Because they feel like, oh, I need to show you. We say, Ghana, our mentality is your parents will take care of you. You get a job, you come and take care of them. So, I'm going to discuss this topic. I'm going to discuss this topic. I'm going to discuss this topic. And to well, allow me to use my money to take care of my kids too. But they, they would want. That is why they want to push you to do what they want so that they can benefit us at the time they want. Because I can give them money. Yeah. And what if by the time I end their job, they are dead? Okay. So they need to enjoy. Yes, so they will even tell you, say, school now work on. Yes. You know, and then Tina say Africans, you you two point call Europe in those countries now. We do like more than one job, but the Europeans themselves, among you, yes, yes, because yes. on your new responsibility, on any day, and you do so, but you are in a chilling way, and you have to know how many parents, but you African man now, too, you pay your bills, you still need to send money back home, and you too, Nesha. So that was how yeah. I even ended up mm-hmm. in the communication. Okay. And so we we'll come to that. Let me come to you and fly. What was the dream job? And also, okay, when you took a switch, how challenging was it for you? Okay. Yes, I think my story is so quite similar yes, <laughs> at the first one. Yeah. Growing up, um, my, my dad was, was working at the bank. Okay. And then along the line, he had to stop. Okay. And then invested in farming. Okay. okay. It really worked for him. But at that age, I was very young. And my dad is somebody that would always want to push his kids to school and all of that, even though he had stopped back in yeah, and farming. farming that's yes, the but the education is time. Exactly. I think he, he kicked the buckets along the line okay. when I was very young. So at that time, 
I didn't have um, a capacity to take some bold decisions and yeah. all of that. Yeah. But growing up, my encounter with people, I realized that hunger is one of the things that people cannot stand okay. at all. Yeah. If, if you stop somebody for a day, the likelihood that a person is not going to talk to you throughout the day it's is high. very high. If it becomes two days, or the obit means that I'm going to be my day, we could. Same day, I'm sure now we could be added. So you see the transition. And so I realized that in GHS 1, I took my own bold decision. We were in class, and one of my teachers came. He was asking, oh, bad, then, oh, bad, then, oh, bad, then. Um, academically, I was the best student in my class, and mm -hmm. I was seated at the back. So I was the last person that they go to. I'll be a doctor, I'll be this, I'll be this, JHS1. They go to me, and I told them I want to be a farmer. Okay. And the class was like, oh, really? Why would you want to be a farmer? Because I tell you about this. Yeah. So the idea of farming was to be a farmer. Yeah. 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 So the idea was to be able to produce for people to what, have sufficient food to, what, to consume. Okay. That was just the idea. idea you had. Yes. So I, I really had passion for that. And growing up, going to the farm with my mom and all of that. So um, I knew all the consequences, the challenges and all of that. And so that was when I took my own bold decisions. Fast forward, we came to JHS3 that we were about completing and people were choosing courses. And there again, I was the best student. I moved to a uh, different school. So, but I was still the best student in my class. Yes. <laughs> um, um, I have a too. Okay. Yes, so people were choosing their program. I'm going to do science, visual arts, general arts, this business. Mm -hmm. so they came to me and I was like, are you are you are you are you so some of my teachers were like no you are going to infantipane to do this and yeah, i was like no i am going to upshs and i was at closer to upshs then okay. when i was young so okay. i was passing by and all of you that yes so i was like i'm going there to do what science i'm sorry i break science they didn't really buy into the idea, but that is what I really wanted to do. And some of my colleagues after class approached me and were like, ah, what is a Greek? Like, why do you want to do a Greek? And I told them that, Charlie, at least the scenario I gave them was that, how many times do you buy four if you have a car? Probably on a week or on a monthly basis. How many times do you go to hospital? Maybe, really? How many times do you even buy clothes? But ask yourself how many times you bought food, food just this week. Mm -hmm. So the demand and supply analysis was really working at that angle for me. Okay. And so at that very young age, I was able to convince, and trust me, half of my class went to different schools to do agri science. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is how we started. started wow. And so from there, from JHS, we taking the board decision to, to um, JHS yes. the way, and still living with it. And trust me, he came and had the school that I wanted to go. That was UPS. I had, no I had, I had my I am a great science. I went and same class. I was doing chemistry, physics, animal husbandry, and then I agree. Okay. The chemistry and then the physics, then I know they see it up. Because that is not what I no, said. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but it was part of the thing. Mm -hmm. But for the agri course and then the animal husbandry, nobody in my class was performing better than me. So I realized that, no, this is what I really wanted to do. And before I even entered school, my, my uncle was like, do you want to do agri because your dad was farming? I was like, no, this is something that I really wanted to do. I'll, I'll, I'll continue. Yeah. So I'm also asking you, do you, as of now, yeah. do you think you were born with it or overcome your bum? Because it's like, me, I had that HUC, the honor and every other, and it will be piano, piano. What, what was it? Me, me home. When he started, I was very young. I think I was around six years, but <laughs> yeah, I was very young. And around eight, that's when um, he, he passed on. Yeah, he passed on. So okay. I was, uh, that was a very young age to take a decision that I want to do this. But one thing that really sparked my interest in the whole agric thing was um, my uncle was a security, okay. um, a security personnel at UCC. And um, where, where they keep the building materials and all of that, people, external people come around to come and steal them. Okay. And then one day, we had the opportunity to travel on two of them. Okay. Fortunately, one ran and then we caught the other. 
And so upon interrogation and all of that, I realized that I come the day into now. So you didn't hear your come. I come. Mm-hmm. So that day, my uncle cooked at the farm. Yes, we yes. all ate together, and then he left. And that's what really gingered me to what to produce for people to work. And that, at that time, I was in class three. Wow. Wow. At that time, I was in class three. Okay. He stayed with me to JHS yes. one. I was going to the farm when I was young and all of that. Wow. I knew all the challenges and then the benefits. And if at JHS three, I was able to do my demand and supply, supply analysis, and analysis and know that there is demand for food products, then why not? Wow. wow. Yes. So my uncle was like, I pretty quite agree because oh papa oh yeah agree and I was like no this is what I wanted to do, and after all, agree is science it is a business and it is art so mm-hmm. whoever is doing art is within me whoever mm-hmm. is doing science is within me whoever is doing business is also within me, so I had all this work Little and exactly fast forward we 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 graduated and then, and I'm somebody that would want to be in business and all of that so. Aside, because after all, if you produce, you need to market, to market and sell, and that's the business aspect of the no, 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 Marketing and business. And exactly. <laughs> so fast forward, um, it came to the point that I need to go to the tertiary. tertiary. So I, I called the vice dean there, asked some few questions about the courses and all of that, and I settled on one, which is agribusiness. Mm-hmm. But even within the agribusiness, I had wanted to what, be on the farm, doing the primary production. Wow. That is an area most of the young people who might not want to go into, but that is the area that I wanted to choose. Wow. But because I had passion for other businesses and all of that, I wanted to incorporate some business components in what the agri thing that I wanted to do. So I settled on agribusiness, yes. and this is what I Market. live in. Trust me, I really love the agri that I'm doing. <laughs> wow. So um, those watching, you could see that from Obapa and um, Fly, it looks like our environment and our um, ide- the ideology is different. Yeah. Obapa grew up from where um, banking was something that you were looking up to. Then you got into a different environment. You got exposed. Somebody say culture shock. You saw a lot of things. <laughs> you realize like, ah, something like that. <laughs> <bad. laughs> so you came out. Even you entering Unicra, you didn't need to enter in some yeah, um, yeah, so before you could tell. Yeah. So, it all boils down to our environment. Yeah. Sophie, so, you know something? Um, the, when you are younger, things easily get registered in your head. That is why when I was just listening. listening to what he said, his father became a farmer within a space of two years yes. before he passed on. Yeah. But he was still young. So you see how... It's it was still in his head. Yes. Look at the incidents with his uncle yes. and the thief. Yeah. It's it was still in his head. And then when they are two rank a That means because like uh, you are older. Yes. The responsibilities are like back to back. But if you are young, you don't have anything to think about. You don't have anything to worry about. So the things that happens around you, you easily get them then. It's, I don't know, it has a way of working on your brain and you yourself, you will not even be able to comprehend it. I think, I think there is a research that from age zero to, I think, eight or so, um, I stand to be corrected. If something is registered on your mind, you will never forget. It's you know, like, like, yeah. I'll buy yeah. that. Yes. There are certain things you did, experiences that you went through when you were from like one to let's say four, four, five, six. You still remember. You can't, sometimes you can't give exact, but you can remember yeah, yeah. certain yeah. pictures. That's why say. people normally advocate that when when you are sending your child to school and all of that, get a the better child foundation because good foundation. when it gets to some age, yeah, it's very you was saying, was Yes. Wow. And see, me ba or ba pana semi su. I want to be able to conclude the conversation. We make his statement be there. Um, there are certain ages that things register in our minds. So I want to say that there. Ma obinu kade your environment starts from certain point to certain point. Then you become the environment. It's true. It's true. Because yeah. so starting from let's say one to be twenty eighteen twenty two ever no responsibilities no so it's your own be you are easy to capture them. But with a certain age, capturing certain things is difficult. But things that you have captured is what starts playing to you. Because you are never be over. Yes, you shall know who you are. 
we are now implementing them. Yeah. We have now our mama kasa chewi ya nem. We kasa we 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 Naturally, you control them of what they watch on the telly, because osa niawashe no it's endless here. If you want to, obviously, as you say, or practice it, like I never say ni pa no wash it down or person or you, but it's it just comes out naturally because or picking me at a tender age. And you know, if you give your kids a good foundation. They will create a good environment mm-hmm. when it is time for them to create it's their own a environment. I think a typical example of what um, Adipa is talking about is see young um, girls growing up and then see their mom, their mom cook and all of that. At some point, you realize that they also begin to gather some mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. All of that. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. Nobody thought to them to build on what they were seeing. Yeah. And what, put it into what? Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. So this question, um, I'm trying to get the question right. But do we, for example, tell me, I'm a small boy. I have a small boy. And certain things you are on open our chair. There is one animal you are fine Oh, why the we we need catch no the dog. Oh, are you good? We need them above. But because of videos, on the TV, do them animal in a way you know no good. No, it's not going to be sunny day. If you are fine then no above. No, so one no catch you. Also, show me the TV. Exactly. So that makes Obapana Smoke and very important that there is a certain point in the life of our kids and they are very conscious of it. Yeah. Because they pick a lot of things and you might think they they don't see it. Oh, really? Oh, sir. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm very smart at the tender age. You don't have to see it. Because I don't see it. Oh, my friend. Oh, but a boy. Wapik. So, in conclusion to what we are saying, we all agree that our environment plays a major role. But how you move in it also plays a factor. Yeah. And I'm a one. It does. So, in conclusion, about what would you say to this question that we are discussing? Do you think the environment plays a 100% role or it has a percentage and you, the individual, also has a percent because you can't go out from a place where I'm a person putting in. You think we should accept it yeah, that way? Yeah. It, it has the environment can have like ninety percent of what we become. Okay, but the ten percent matters. Wow. The ten percent is you yourself. How you move through the ninety percent? How you maneuver your way through the ninety percent? Because if the ninety percent is giving you A, and your ten percent is still giving you A. Sometimes it can be a plus for you. Sometimes it can just mess you up. Like you cited, Arabs, all over, uh-huh. and your ten percent also becomes an Araba. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are messed up. Exactly. Wow. Like you've totally agreed to your environment. You'll be wasted. But if you utilize your 10% very well, it can neutralize the 90%. Because it is you, me, me person, me, me. Why can't you do it? Because me, if I had listened to all the backlash, all the pressures coming from the house. Oh, by this time, fine, can marry training college, Bianca. Um, but that's not what I want to do. Oh, person, you will buy my bag and go to buy a bunch of. But right now, I am in case I police in jail me. Oh, be on the visa, I'm busy. Oh, my partner, I just want to go and see the Chinese say. Oh, my American girl say. All this ah uh, we've been talking. I didn't understand what you said. It doesn't happen. So let your ten percent matter. 
Utilize the 10%. Make sure that the 10% is fruitful. And you will sow through life. Even though the environment is there. But what you act... But you know that with this influence environment thing, name, we sometimes we have those attributes in us. So okay. We just need like a trigger. They are in you. And you know, if you if you feel oh this thing, somebody can influence me to do it. Then don't even get close because it is already in you. Sure. Just I, you are into yes, because I know people who are among friends who are with smokers, but they themselves they don't smoke because it is not part of them. Yes. to me they are oh you cry mama me but and obi cry out. But somebody that this thing is in them, they cry no. Oh, because so like yeah, one hand everybody is smoking. Are you like? Why am I not smoking? Oh boy, it is part of you. It is because you are seeing them. Until I say, or oh, until now. So like, let's let's just work on on ourselves. And we need to know ourselves better. And if we are able to know ourselves better, we would neutralize our ninety percent, and this world will be a better place for us. Wow. Thank you. Let me come to um, fly, fly. Um, yes, um, Kofi. I think it depends on the environments that you find yourself in. Mm. Some environments are very strong, some too are moderate, and some are very weak. Why am I saying this? Say, I prefer to say, don't know my mean, my parents, or they look at boarding school, boarding school, and like, just like I earlier mentioned, mm. environment is where you spend most of your time. So if you are the type that most of your time were spent in school, the school environment influences you much than that of your parents. And so you see the school environment become very strong than that of your parents. And so somebody like this, depending on where you find yourself, you'll be able to what, make a decision based on the type of environment you find yourself in. Last, last three days or so, an unknown number sent me a message that the younger brother wants to go into agriculture and their, their parents is like, no, they are not going to allow. Simply because... I, they, from their point of view, our Greek is not supposed to be learned in school. <laughs> Somebody like that finds himself in a very strong environment that if he moves away from it, like um, Kuman is mentioned, yeah. he is likely to crash because at that very young age, your parents are saying, we are not going to support you because you want to do this. Yeah. You get it. And so depending on where you find yourself, that will depend or determine how you what you will be able to sail through your just like Adipa mentioned, the environment plays a major role. But after all, you also have some percentage to what to work on. If not the the ten percent, at least you should be getting a, about five percent. Mm-hmm. And I think a video on Demaya was like he wanted to do videos and his dad was like, Why would I send you to school and mm-hmm. want to do yes, videos? Be walking and be how? And because he was able to use the 10% to work on the 90% was able to sail through. And today. And today, look at what they are. They are And you see, they become so proud of you. They'll be like, yes. which year, Yanka, you will not be here. Exactly. But yes. if you didn't succeed, yes. hey, yes. Well, yes. they kill you. <laughs> yeah, so just, just basically, like at the passage, just make sure the 10% or the percentage that you have control over it you're able to what, use it efficiently to influence the rest that you don't have control. And those people tend to be great people. Those people tend to be great people. So basically that. Wow. Um, we are very grateful for this conversation. I think I have learned a lot. I keep saying that um, with what my guest or my panel say, it's very important. It's an experience that we are all sharing. Yeah. I keep saying, we are, I'm not going to say I'm perfect, you are perfect. But it's experience you've been through, what you've been through, you free mm-hmm. it out for somebody to learn from it. Obapa said, um, Fly also said, environment plays a role, but you also have a percentage to play in it. And as he said, I feel like some person where you're unique in life, you need to identify yourself and make a change. Yeah. Don't always throw the line like, because we are all created with something unique in us. Yeah. 
I don't blame our parents at certain points. It's a topic you are going to discuss. I will bring the two of you. As we can, you have any momentarily be said. The person you are going to go to school only a demand no better him at an early age. You see, or we know school now come young who we are. You see, inculcate in our mind that school people are here. We are responsible. That's how we are going to be sure. You see, sometimes you are making a career path or choice, and you are very afraid, skeptical. But that is not fair. That, that, that is, is not so fair because it is actually killing us. That's that what is causing a lot of depression in our generation. Hmm. Because we will be out of you in Ankasa. The mentality is. We will be out of you. We will out of you. We will be 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 out of you. I want to work to the point that I don't need to depend on my son or my child. Because I said, my mother pressure me out. Oh, yeah. Maybe the answer is shallow. I'm not sure the answer is going to be a So, oh, yeah, you're going to So that, no, 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 no. But yeah, then I said, well, I'm not going to show you, I'm going to show you. It's going to be a good one. Yeah. Who told me to work on my own show? But everyone is going to be a good one. I said, I'm sending you to send out a couple of times. Those Ghanaians outside, they are doing three, four jobs. Not because they want to. If you... I saw Senema because I'm Senema. Hey, what can I do? I'm Senema. Play. <laughs> and I think this topic we need to discuss, and also I will try get some. I will say, um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say Gen Z and millennials. Gen Z, I say millennials are going to be much more aware of this because I say eradicate that mentality. No, it's terrible. Am I impressed too much? Am I impressed? So I don't know what to think about this topic. How your environment played a role in the career path that you are on now, how your environment played a role in some choices that you've made in life. Because maybe ending on my path, I feel like this media came because of my environment. It's typical like Obapa. I grew up born in Takrade, grew up in Takrade, came to stay in Cape Coast a little bit. Then I moved to Accra. Secondary school, I think, second year. Then I got exposed to radio, YFM. I was listening to Jeremy and Jay Foley. Look at, you hear, but full of what can you ah, ready now, <laughs> and I was like, wow, if people can do this, then I can do it. Because I was doing general art already. I love to read. But I didn't have any idea, I didn't have any idea. Yes, some more. It's, me here, I'm going to say yes. So, even going to invest in UCC, say me, no matter what you say, I did me communication with you. Me didn't say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Okay, you're way, 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 you are so obi and nigeria in that whole no one are they all interested in what picking area you that's what you said some of them are in nursing they mean that's a thing but they are doing nursing they are working as nurses but they are killing people that is why you you see you go there and you are dying they are sitting there pressing your foot and we are blaming them yeah, it's not their fault because that's yeah. not where they want to be. Yeah, because secure for them. Yes, being a nurse means you need to have passion, you need to be compassionate, you need to be there. But if I don't have it, how do I? Oh, yeah, you need to be Then you come back and you be like, eh, look at hospital, cry, nurse is here, what you want to move from the phone? But you are the same person who forced the nurse to be there. But when the nurse is so tough, you need to take care of them. But because say just security, yeah, they need to know. Masa, only a nanny now for sure because our nursing school, Jay Alawa, or your school, so I wish I didn't have one of them. I'm the rule and both school, or Jay, 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 or Yes, um, me I be the old school type. Okay. So on your Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> on your Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn. So Facebook, I'm Kojo Anobio Samo. Okay. And then on LinkedIn, Samo Anobio. Okay. 
Okay, I'm into advocating for youth participation in agriculture. Wow. So probably if you chance on any of our work, we are called Agrispa Ghana. So if you chance on any of our work, you give us a subscription if it's YouTube or a share on any other social media platform. Wow. I would like you to drop your number because what you are doing, somebody might have a child or somebody who wants to go into agriculture will need your advice or something. Just in fact, that is that is very important to me. Yeah. The number, let me take my time and then call it. Yeah, so the number is 0559 86 8962. Again, 0559. Eight six eight nine six two. Wow, thank you very much. Let me come to my business woman. <laughs> 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 okay, so <laughs> I run a bit business with a brand name Obapa Beats. So you can find us on social media, that's um IG and Facebook, which is Obapa Beats and I I, I also have a personal life. I mean, apart from the business, <laughs> you have a personal life, so you can reach me at Obapo Fienya Mitch on any social media handle. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. And I think you're going to have a topic to discuss. I'm bringing Mr. Smile and Obapo. <laughs> we're talking about the importance of beats on women. Why oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Why must I do this with you? Just have the imagination going on. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying with us on this conversation. I keep saying that the Free Zone podcast is for you, it's for me, it's for all of us. We share our experiences, our opinions on topics that are relatively important to our lives. Um, go on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, now called X. Um, we have TikTok as well, or Kofi JCTV, K O F Y J E W S E T B. Subscribe, bring topics that you think you want us to discuss to on the podcast, and we are going to do that. And also, don't forget, love yourself as you love others, because you can do better for people when you love yourself. Thank you so much. I've been your host, Kofi JC, on this show. If you're in Cape Coast, we have something big coming up. Um, a movie is going to be premiered and we missed the first one so today I spoke with the whole team the second one we are going it's in the month of hey. July the first one I missed this one if I miss it <laughs> that day, yeah, we we'll be missing, we'll we'll be missing. We'll be missing. but it's happening on the month of July right inside C and C the flyer is on the 19th, screen 19th right 19th yeah. we are all moving to C and C yeah. I've never yeah. a stage yeah. or a stage play I miss you I've never then you are missing and I'm, that's just, I'm missing you are missing if I don't go if my camera guy says he's not even going I'm coming with my phone yeah. I'm I'm to get, so, I'm to <laughs> so if you want to get a ticket the flyers on your screen, you can just get the number, call them if you're in Cape Coast. Even if you're in a car, you want to come. Hey, my studio, we can sleep here. Let's come, <laughs> let's go and watch this beautiful play and enjoy. What's the title of the play? Uh, um, yeah, Stubborn Academy, yeah. <laughs> Stubborn Academy. <laughs> so just make sure you are ready for this play on the 19th of July, right inside CNC. In Cape yeah. Coast. The flyers will be running through the conversation all the 30 minutes and make sure yeah. you take part and enjoy stay blessed we are out